Wow, it's springtime. Oh, it's springtime! It's springtime, spring Amanda! Uh, yeah, it is spring. Time to celebrate freshness. Have this just showered, fresh feeling. Wow. And, uh, yeah, so I feel pretty good today. I wanted to go for a bike ride because it's so nice out. We'll party on, girl. See y'all later. joint as they pull up, man. When you see this joint as they pull up. Who? Oh my god, it's channel six. Holy shit. Hello. Hello. Hi. How's it going? All right. Now, since we're a reality-based television program, we, our general philosophy is to try to keep the camera rolling at all times. <laughs> because you never know when something important might happen. situation here. Should we do the interviews for us first and then that way that's over and then you guys can go sure. ahead with your um, sure. thought yeah. process? Yes. Hey, this would be like behind the scenes? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, Jane Beyond the Rocks is a television program which uh, normally uh, mo uh, 58 weeks out of 59 has, has been a show which teaches people how to mix, make mixed drink, kind of a mixed drink cooking show. Um, and uh, here's an example of that right here. Um, That's not bad. Number 59 was a, a show called J&B Get Baked, which, uh, which is, I think, the reason why we've now been on all three of the, in, the Indianapolis network TV stations is because we did this show about marijuana. Marijuana has been a, a part of our real lives for such a long time that we thought it was almost dishonest for us to leave it out of the TV show. We've been planning this for a long time, and we finally <laughs> came up man? with something that I'm we thought was fun. <laughs> Ajabu had agreed to appear live in our studios on this program, but within the past hour, he canceled the appearance. Two recent graduates of Indiana University have stoked a small firestorm of controversy in Bloomington. As News 8's Neil Moore reports, it's centered around a controversial cable TV show trumpeting the virtues of marijuana. J and B on the rocks. I'm J. And I'm B. And this is a joint. This is a joint, <gasps> and we're gonna smoke it now. A joint endeavor. Joe Nickel and Bart Everson say it's time marijuana were legalized and spent six months producing this TV show to argue the point. The half-hour episode aired last night at 11 o'clock on Bloomington's Community Access Cable TV channel. It's not harmful. It's not a bad thing, we feel like. And, and you know, if pe I think if people actually watch this episode of Jane Beyond the Rocks, they'll come away at, at the very least saying, Huh, well, uh, I never looked at it like that before. Chances are few have looked at it like this before. Graphic demonstrations of marijuana use, a drug the twosome say is used by thousands of people who should come out of the closet. Can't have uh, free dialogue, of course, about anything as long as people are scared. And it took a certain amount of bravery for us to do this. You know, I, I said before that it was a brave thing for us to do, to step forward like this and stand up. But I realize now that's not really the case. See, the reason that um, we're able to make this statement now is we have nothing to lose. <laughs> we're just so poor. And uh, and um, what else? Um, poor and, uh, poor and uh, bored. No. We're finished with the questions? Oh, I forgot to mention. I shaved my head. Yeah. I hey, man, wait a minute. Who shaved your head? Oh, hey, oh. get out of Who here, shaved there, your head? Terry shaved my head. <laughs> Terry's actually doing the shaving. Good job, man. Camera Good operator. job. It was uh, springtime. As for Everson and Nickel, they say marijuana has been part of their lives for years now and that they could no longer ignore it as TV producers. It seemed almost dishonest to leave marijuana out of the brew, so to speak. And so we felt like um, we had to address it, and we finally have now. A repeat broadcast is planned this summer. In Bloomington, Neil Moore, Wish TV, News 8.
The graduates also plan to make their program available to local and state politicians as a way of lobbying for the legalization of pot. We didn't want to be pegged as the marijuana guys. Um, Is that why you really married him? To ride a fame? Yeah, ride I his fame? to ride that ticket to marijuana. I think that, you know, being married to a marijuana guy will just, you know, open all kinds of employment doors that just weren't open before. So we'll see what what Head happens. Shot. <laughs> Extreme close-up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gosh, it's it's just like Wayne's World, uh, as they as they said on Channel 13 for some ridiculous reason. A cable TV show in Bloomington may be a bit too controversial even for a college crowd. You know, critics have said that television is going to pot, and as Chris Prophet reports, now they're absolutely right. Welcome to J and B on the Rocks. I'm J and I'm B, and this is a joint. This is a joint, <gasps> and we're gonna smoke it now. A joint. J and B on the Rocks is the kind of TV show that only could be found on Anything Goes cable access channel. Smoking marijuana is illegal in uh, Bloomington, Indiana, and uh, actually most, if not all, of the rest of the country. Indiana University graduates Joel Nickel and Bart Everson have been hosting the half-hour show for two years. The idea is strikingly similar to another famous cable access show. We're not worthy. They're basically just pretending to be what we really are. The show is about how to mix drinks, and in their latest episode, legalizing and smoking marijuana. It's a show which is kind of about marijuana and about uh, the, the place of marijuana in our lives and in the world around us. The show hasn't gone unnoticed. Community leaders have demanded that it be taken off the air. But First Amendment protection and a cult following keep it on week to week. I love the show. I watch it every Tuesday, you know, religiously. Tuesday night, Be Cat. The idea of smoking marijuana on television is controversial enough, but Joe and Bart went one step further to make their case for legalizing pot. They smoked it right in front of the Monroe County Courthouse. Oh, baby. <laughs> Jay had just rolled joint. this big fat joint. What else, you know, could we do except smoke it? And where should we smoke it? You know, we're making a show about uh, how marijuana isn't so bad and they should change the law. Where else but the seat of authority, you know, the courthouse? The marijuana smoking episode, they say, is a political statement, but some people view the use of marijuana on television as inflammatory and irresponsible. Public ass a show maybe shouldn't be the uh, best media to discuss this. I don't agree with it. I'm very much against this because parents allow their kids to see anything. Critics aside, the show will continue, although coming up with a topic that can top this may be tough. Chain beyond the rocks, you can almost smell the buds. In Bloomington, Chris Prophet, Indiana's News Channel 13. Five years from now, we may have 500 channels. Imagine the possibilities. Uh, I don't want. <laughs> wow! Look, now, oh, yeah. now, what is this going on here? You may be wondering. Well, this is. Uh, what was your name? I'm sorry. This is Michelle from from Channel Six News. <laughs> Channel 6 News, uh, the ABC this is my territory. in Indianapolis. Our important message this week is to stay hydrated. It's important when you're using any kind of drugs, uh, marijuana, alcohol, basically oh, whatever. On, you got drugs in there. Hell, even Ibuprofen. if you're not using drugs, Ibuprofen. water is a good thing. And yeah. so you should stay hydrated. No, man, you guys don't right. drink water, man. That's not hardcore enough for you guys, is it? Oh, yeah. What, what could be more hardcore well, you know, than it's, water? It's Look, I just the, spit on the lens. Of, one of the one of the many ways that you sustain the buzz, so to speak, and that's of course the name of this episode, number sixty, sustaining the buzz, J and B on the rocks, and <clears throat> excuse me, from the bottom. Of as you can glass. see, um, I'm having trouble sustaining my buzz because my glass is empty. It does not overflow. So you're gonna go drink some water, man? You gonna no. you gonna no, follow man. that advice Fill and drink up. some water? We are gonna pop a bottle of champagne. The legalization fairy is here once again to. To provide good news for all and a quench for your thirst of freedom that marijuana will be legalized. Yeehaw. Raise a glass, America. So we're going to pop this bottle of champagne in honor of our 60th birthday. Um, Jane Beyond the Rocks turns 60 today. It's also the end of our second season of Stupidity. Ta-da! And not only that, we wanted to, of course, to drink a toast to the great success of episode number 59. J and B get baked. Yeah, right. which was uh, which was covered on uh, ABC, NBC, CBS, uh, and the ABC radio affiliate here in Bloomington. Voyme, click quat, pon sardine. You're a French scholar. <laughs> yeah, you yeah. are from Kentucky. Yeah, man. yeah, I'm a French scholar from Kentucky. Woo!
Happy birthday, Jay and Beyond the Rocks, because we should celebrate ourselves in this uh, golden age of opportunity. Oh, I'm pouring a drink for my friend B, actually. Mm -hmm. He oh, thought uh, that I was pouring this for myself, but I'm not. Jay is not selfish because yeah, he smokes be marijuana. Except Going for me, man. Ass, but yeah, yeah, this, this, was, this was a wedding mm -hmm. present, wasn't it? Yes, this was from uh, Jim Robinson and Kate Sibley. Yeah, uh, Kirby Paxson and Bart Everson actually got married on television uh, last November. That was one of the episodes of this program. It was called uh, Tying One On. It was a puppet show. Well, hey, a toast. Hey, wait, I, I haven't poured myself one. Before the toast. Was that awful? I'm instant gratification You're fool. again. Hang on. I'll drink it. Okay, a toast to 60 episodes of stupid crap on television. <laughs> Wait, look, I was the only one in this Pretension. class. I think that was a sexist oh, thing. What's yeah, going yeah. on? I didn't yeah. get the... All the males got the dark blue. <laughs> Have you no! Seen no! <laughs> you know pour a, a glass of champagne for Channel 6 News uh, in appreciation wow, for, for their the coverage Woo! of Jane Beyond the Rocks, Jane and Me Get Baked, um, and uh, just all this ridiculous stuff that we do in our own free time. <laughs> Not everybody gets to get drunk on the job. Gets to get drunk on the job, yeah. Yeah, that's, that's one of the this, benefits yeah. of, of doing a free television show <laughs> is that you can set your and own. And it's a French benefit because we're drinking this French champagne. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you can set your own policies on drug and alcohol use in the workplace when, uh, for all intents and purposes, you have no real workplace. <laughs> this is our health care. Ingrown toenail, hey, I'll take care of that. <laughs> Chop it off. And if it don't go away, hell. At least you're high. <laughs> you got, hey, you win either way. Either way. <laughs> well, it's Hi, because we're a low, low budget program. Low, Jay and Beyond the Rocks. Low, low budget. As a matter of fact, low, let me show you the shape low, of the number that represents low. our budget. Boink. All right, we're going to go. We're going to go to the cluster and print out the uh, press releases. <laughs> yeah, because we're trying to su 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 sustain the buzz. We're trying to sustain the buzz, get the national media into the mix, get them interested in what's going on on J and B on the Rocks, because I think they should be. <laughs> but maybe that's just self-centered promotion. Or, or, I don't know. <laughs> Funky young monarchs of self-promotion. That's J and B in the proverbial <laughs> nutshell for you here. <laughs> Just taking a break from the uh, videotaping. Yeah. Taking a break from videotaping with, smoke uh, a roach. with Channel 6 to smoke a roach. That's going all the way, man. So do you think they could arrest us for that? For that? They'd arrest you for that! What is it? For that! The legalization fairy has come back. Don't worry. Incense. Yes. And myrrh. And this legalization fairy will come and you will be set free, T. Ba -ba -ba. <laughs> in my end, we carry the good fairy sticks. Incense. Because this erases all the badness. You will be free in the future. My marijuana warrior. Actually, God, what the 11th commandment, the one that the Christians struck out um, uh, later, was uh, everyone should smoke marijuana right now. That's the 11th <laughs> commandment. Can you believe it? So we're going to head over to the computer cluster to print out our press release right now. So here we go. Oh, gosh. We're probably yeah. going to have to wipe off the lens now. Oh, huh? God damn, I can get it. I can get it. <sighs> I'll just be a little mm. The Indiana University School of Law. That's where we are right now. Why? Because we, we think that the laws about marijuana suck. Come on, lawyers. It's a Christian song. In the change name of Jesus the Christ, world. change the world. Lawyers, change the world. The, the, world. Lawyers. the name of Mary Jane. Lawyers, lawyers, change lawyers, change the world. Lawyers. In the name of Mother Mary Jane. So another reason, actually, that we're here at the School of Law is to print out our press release to the national media in hopes that some other channel or magazine or newspaper or, or radio station network will pick us up and make this a national issue. You think yeah. I can start getting paid then? Yeah, too, and then man? can we get some money, man? Huh? I mean, you know. Just money? Like, man, I could live on 50 bucks. Money? Whoa. 
Excuse me, I just stumbled. Controversial TV show depicts marijuana use. This is a press release. Controversy exploded this week in Indiana when two Bloomington cable TV producers appeared on television smoking marijuana and encouraging home viewers to, quote, do the same. Joe Nickel and Bart Everson, co-producers of the weekly cable access program J and Beyond the Rocks, took their message of marijuana decriminalization to the public on Tuesday with a show entitled J and B Get Baked. The show featured the two producers smoking marijuana in front of the Monroe County Courthouse, as well as other locations, with, together with many of their friends. Like so many other people in this community, we love to smoke marijuana, and J and Beyond the Rocks reflects our lives, says Nickel age 25, so it was inevitable that we'd eventually have to deal with this part of our lives. In J&B Get Baked, the award-winning award producers leave no stone unturned, showing themselves loading pipes, examining marijuana buds, and getting lost in the woods. The show also featured interviews with Bloomington Ch Chief of Police Steve Sharp, Captain Bill Parker of the Bloomington Narcotics Force, as well as many citizens in the community of Bloomington. We firmly believe that our country's marijuana laws are unjust, says Everson. Peaceful citizens are being ripped from their homes and sent to prison, all for using a non-lethal, non-addictive drug. Thank you for your time and consideration. Or contact Indiana Normal, that's the National Organization for the Reform of Marijuana Laws, at 336-HEMP. <laughs> So you're not associated with anything? No. You're just a person no on the street? Okay. You're just totally free. Well, hey. What about, oh, damn it. And, but, and you're our photographer. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm glad yeah, to meet just you. Just a photographer. Just, yeah. no one in just a. You're not making fun of it, are you, though, man? No, no, I'm not making fun of it. It's Kurt, man. Kurt Cobain. Kurt, 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 Kurt Cobain. Cobain. 94. Bang. Yeah. So just think about it, man. When you hit the big time, you may be tempted to blow your head off with a shotgun. This is where the, this was like, this is some sort of sign from Kurt that he appreciated it because this hole that was on the other side of his head wasn't there. And I think it tops it off right well. The well, you know. charge coming out the back of his head. So that's the moment before the whole head exploded. She said it's got to Oh, hello. Um, gosh, I'm lying here in our yard because, well, I've had too much to drink and uh, time has gone by and, well, my buzz is over and now I've just kind of got a headache and I'm sleepy and, oh, my shirt came off, fell off or something. And Sustaining the buzz, that's, that's the name of this episode. And, it's a tough question, you know, how do you, once you go up, how, once you get stoned or drunk or in some other way just transcend your normal uh, state of mental affairs, how do you stay up there? Well, you know, the laws of physics say that that which goes up must come down and I think uh, that guy with the apple, whatever his name was, uh, Milton or, or Einstein was the one that discovered that, or somebody like that. Hey, what's that in your mouth there? Joint. Oh my God. Want to smoke it? I just woke up from a nap, and it's perfect then to get intoxicated because your mind's already kind of like dreamy and half asleep, you know. You can put it back. I mean, they're not as big as the, that really you can magic put that weed. Back in that's that's um obscene. This is perfect that this controversy happened on Little Five. Little Five. Weekend. Because the cops are going to be so busy with little five bullshit, they're just going to leave us alone. All kinds smoking. of joints like these and get away with it. Yeah. yeah. All kinds of joint like these. Jane B on the rocks. <laughs> Give me a lighter to fire this motherfucker up. Fire this motherfucker up. Fire this motherfucker up. because I'm not, I don't really do this stuff, but I do help my husband. I don't really believe in it. Ow, fucking A, the hot wax is a nice treat. Ow, hoo -hoo! Jesus, Al, Keep it going. Oh, man, this is like Easter. Remember when Just I a more. burnt myself with Easter grass, Rachel? I had the big scar. Want a shotgun, man? Sure.
God. I wish I could learn how to do that. It's Did either one of you guys get off on that dick hard or anything like that? There's a wet spot right there on the couch. She's got it going on. She's got it going on. I wish she'd get it on. She said it's got to move me. 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 So uh, there's this guy named Dale Myers that we wanted to introduce you to. So Dale is going to prison for four and a quarter years. He's already done a quarter year for it, of, of that sentence. And he's going to prison for that period of time for growing marijuana in his own home. Government uh, convicted me of uh, manufacturing a controlled substance, growing marijuana in my house. It's a violation of federal, of the U.S. code. It's uh, Title 21. Section 841D, uh, I think, but mm -hmm. I'm not sure. I'd, I'd gone into a store in Indianapolis, a garden supply store. It was called Circle City Hydroponics. I had bought uh, $10 worth of fertilizer. Circle City Hydroponics, it was a gardening supply store, a hydroponics store uh, that was run by the Indiana State Police. They opened it up for one purpose, to bust people. Based on that purchase, the uh, police began investigating me. They got my uh, driver's license records from the Bureau of Motor Vehicles. Uh, they got my uh, utility records, my electrical consumption. Uh, they came to the house and did a visual survey of the property, and they also did a uh, infrared thermal scan. And uh, it's a really sad and tragic tale. I interviewed him at his garage sale where he was selling all of his uh, worldly possessions so that he could have a little cash to take into prison with him um, so that he could, you know, maybe buy a magazine or something someday. The amount of time to be served would be four and a quarter years. I spent 88 days in jail without bond, which is about almost exactly a quarter year. So once I go in, uh, unless the sentencing laws are changed or marijuana is legalized or something like that, uh, I'd be getting out four years from then. Mm -hmm. And since I'm expecting that to be uh, sometime this month, it would probably be April of uh, um, 1998. So Dale says that, uh, that uh, it costs the taxpayers uh, 15, anywhere from fifteen to $24,000 a year to keep him in prison for growing marijuana in his, uh, in his attic. Are you willing to pay that? You are paying it. You are paying it. I'm not willing to pay it. What about you? So you're a unicyclist, huh? Uh, well, I learned to do it when I was about 12, and uh, I enjoy doing it. Uh, after I took a lot of uh, dance classes, I got a lot better at it. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, I guess while I was taking the dance classes, I got interested in trapeze and <laughs> went to the High Flyers Club. But I never got very good at trapeze, but then when they had circus performances, uh, I would ride my unicycles and bicycles in them. Hmm. Gosh. You sound like a dangerous felon. Wandering on down the tracks. Yeah, into the future. What's ahead? This is episode number 60, and the future is, is just a great unknown. You know, looking back into the past, it's just a blur. It's a haze. I can't remember a goddamn thing. <laughs> and unfortunately, yeah. the future is just the same way. I seem yeah. to be stranded here in the present. So I guess that brings us the, to the end of season number two of J and B on the Rocks. This is the end of our 60th episode, the end of our second season. But in some sense, maybe just the, a new beginning. Yeah, yeah, maybe. Uh, next fall, I guess, we'll, we'll have our third season beginning. 
Probably. Yeah. Although, you know, we you never really can tell what the future will hold. <laughs> yeah, we may, may be in prison by then, and, and then, you know, you just won't be able to see us ever again. <laughs> Write to us, though. Keep in touch over the summer. We'll miss you, yes. certainly. Stay out of trouble with the police. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, and contact us at the address on the screen, and uh, I guess we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. Look at all these controls in here. Well, it, it must be against the law for us to be in here, I can only assume. Wow, look at this. How do you start it? Um, hmm, I'm not sure. I think you just hit it on the side or something. So how do we do it? How do we sustain the buzz and keep going when everything is working against us? Burnout is something to worry that you need to worry about whether you're uh, an artist or a pot smoker. Yeah. Well, it's been a long, hard journey that you've taken here with us, and uh, we only hope that you think it was worth it. Uh, but, you know, if not, <laughs> too bad. <laughs> yeah, you're stuck with us. <laughs> You've just wasted a lot of time. It's 417 here at AM 1370. I'm Tom Gully. You're listening to the Afternoon Edition. With me in the studio is Joe Nickel, who is uh, one of the producers of this program we're discussing. And uh, Joe, yeah, what, 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 what do you feel about this whole uh, Channel 3 thing? You're a, a big, uh, I guess, uh, contributor to their programming. What, mm -hmm. you know, I, I, to me, I love the fact that you can turn that channel on and see all this crazy stuff, I mean, that you would never get to see on network television. Uh, what do you think about this allegation of it being the sicko channel or the weirdo channel? The sicko channel. Uh, well, it's it's just not really true. I mean, yeah, there there are people uh, that you will see on Channel Three that are a lot different than you, and uh, that should make you happy. That should make you um, that should enlighten your your life. It should expand your horizons, which is you know the, one of the fundamentals of, of of an open democratic society is is letting everyone have a voice and if you disagree with them great that's fine but uh... you know as long as you at least give them the chance to voice their own opinions which is why the station is there to begin with i guess okay. if it gets caught in the wire you know, it's, hey, just, what the fuck? it's an extra fucking buzz man Woo! yeah the good old day back then the only one yeah, too bad we didn't appreciate it while we had it. Hey, I've got that bar. It's all over now. Yeah. <laughs> that was the day. Hey, there's no wind. That yeah. was the day. Well, that's it. Well, I found a walking stick. Oh, my God. That's for the summer. You'll need it, Jay. Yeah, ooh. Gosh. That's a, a rather long one. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's what most people say to me when they first meet me. <laughs> <laughs> Look at all of them over there. Look at Thanks to Bloomington for... Um, Thanks to this community for providing us with the support that uh, was necessary for us to be able to do this. We could not have done it in any other place but Bloomington. There is no elaborate production crew, only an amateur camera, only an amateur camera, only an amateur camera, amateur camera, amateur camera, only an amateur camera, and not even a script when the tape rolls on this show. But it does offer some touches you don't usually get to see on TV. Joe Nickel is proud, proud that alternative newspaper readers have voted his show the best in Bloomington. He doesn't know whether that opinion was influenced by what they were smoking. Bloomington's cable access channel is beamed from the basement of the public library. The show is restricted to late at night when children presumably are not watching. Conscious. Nickel and Everson make no money from to their show. Up, Nickel says he supports himself as a freelance writer. Everson works as a telemarketer. Most TV shows go into reruns in the summertime, and J&B on the Rocks on Bloomington's Community Access Channel is no exception. Tomorrow night is its last fresh program of this season, and it may be all the proof you need that television is going to pot. Yay! Okay, a toast to 60 episodes of stupid crap on television. <laughs> Yes, tomorrow night's show is the 60th. It's been on cable in Bloomington for two years now. You just didn't know what you were missing, did you?